Welcome to Amazing Series, but most importantly, welcome to Liberia. Yes, this is Liberia. If you were expecting a war-torn country, well, you are in for a surprise because after many years of conflict and civil war, Liberia is on the road to recovery. Liberia is healing, Liberia is rebuilding. So in this segment, we're going to meet a variety of people who are going to tell us exactly how they're helping Liberia rebuild. We're going to reach out to you in the diaspora and tell you why you should come home to Liberia to rebuild Liberia. So stay tuned for this fantastic edition of Amazing Series called Liberia Rebuilding. It is really a new day for Liberia. Come with me and enjoy Liberia in an amazing way. a student of the United Methodist University where I'm reading mass communication in English. I also work with the Parma Young Women Initiative. I'm wholly involved into the Foot Your Future campaign because I want young people to have a say. I want young people to have a voice in our decision making processes. My name is Pepe Pinas Mora I hail from Lofa County. But I reside in Monrovia, precisely to put I am a student of the AM Design University, reading sociology and political science. My name is Tower Johnson. I am a resident of Old Road. I am a student of the Len Miller High School. I am also a participant of a program called Let's Talk About It on Radio Veritas. This program discusses adolescence issues. Thank you all for joining Amazing Series. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. What is life like after war? What's the honest view of life after war? <laughs> life after war is very hard. You know, to come back to see your once beautiful home. Because you, 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 you were you were a baby when the war started. You lived in Ghana for seven years. Yes, and, and then I you came returned back to Liberia. Like, another war took place. Yes, when I came back yes, to Liberia. Yes. That was what I saw. Yeah, and it's very hard. It's very bad that you have to stop your education process because one greedy human being has enticed a you know, whole lot of people to go against. And it's hard, you know, you come back, you see your home scattered, you see your home demolished, you know, your family, maybe you have lost some of your friends, your family members. It's very hard, you know, the emotional trauma to live on it. It might not be the, the physical, you know, destruction, it's always the emotional destruction. It's always the emotional discussion, so we don't want to war again. You know, it's because it's very hard, it's very, very hard, you know, to start building up your life from scratch. You have to allow yourself to have, you know, reach another level. Yeah. You have to come down and start from zero to go back to where you were, so it's hard. And, and Amma, guess what? I stayed all through the war. Oh, so you were here throughout? From 1990 up to present. And but I didn't know about 10, 10 years. And I saw what went on. I did not take any bond, I did not participate. What I was like from Front Street, up Ashma Street, from Ashma Street, my mom point, came by Front Street. And I saw all of the cadence and all of the destruction. And at times I sit and wonder. In fact, at, at a point in time, this gentleman I saw walking down Broad Street and a shell fell, mm -hmm. he was very close mm -hmm. to me like this, and he drummed and trapped. I thought he was like dropping my cover, and when I turned him over, he was dead. And I was kind of crazy. I went and trumped on him, one building, 
from there, I went up the hill, I came back, I went in another person's yeah. apartment, yeah. I sat for some time. Okay. And it's like the trauma is like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We think that after coming from war, I, would ex I, I expected the people to be timid, especially when it comes to voicing their opinions on what's going on. Why is free speech important to librarians today? My, my, my dear, if you can answer. As you rightly stated, Labrador has been from a war-torn state to a most recognized state within the world. Now, some part of last year, within two or three months from, from, from last year, Labrador was given the Freedom of Information Act that gave everyone the right to speak their mind in order to be able to express their feeling, what they have observed and see during the war. So with that, I think we'll be rebuilding our country, not only by rebuilding the infrastructure, but rebuilding our lives by telling our stories in our minds, what we see and what we, 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 we encounter during those years when we're in war. So I think the Freedom of Information Act is very much important for our nation to bring us together. You see, this war came about because people were being marginalized. People, people's rights were being trampled upon. That is, people never had time to say the wrongdoing of the society. So now, since we went to the war and everybody has realized that we must talk. Just, just, just what he was saying, it's, it's, it's good for us to talk because, you know, when a person does a good work, you have to acknowledge him, you yeah. know, say thank you. And when a person does something that is bad, you have to tell them this is bad and we don't want you doing it. So that helps with the, with the growth of Liberian society. It's very important for Liberians to speak their mind because let's take for our certain like me and you. If I'm angry at you and I don't tell you, I will keep it inside and it, it, it will grow continuously. It begins to grow, it begins to grow until it, it turns to hatred. Then I get back at you. So we are avoiding hatred in Liberia. This is why we speak about our mind. This is why I, we say what is bothering us. This is why we, we, we talk as much as we can because we don't want hatred in this nation. Because hatred was the root cause of the civil war. So we don't want hatred anymore. So we are speaking our minds to avoid this. I, I just, as you spoke, I, it just made sense to me. So the reason why there's a growth in radio stations and the reason why you people do not take free speech for granted is because you want to air out whatever is in you yes. to come so you do not build hatred in you and then you act out of hate against fellow Liberians. That makes sure. sense to me. That makes sense. As we talk about free speech, there's no use talking if it can't be heard. Do you feel your government hears you? Of course. Oh, of yes. Course. You feel your government hears yeah. you. Sure. Tao, can you elaborate on how you feel your government hears you? Um, Amma, to, to tell you the truth, we have a radio program called Let's Talk About It, which of course I am a part of that program. Many officials of government listen to that program and we represent the Liberian children. So whatever we say on that program, they listen to it and act immediately. So this tells us that they are listening. Moba, do you feel your voice is heard by the government? Yes, as it relates to our force being here by government, certainly the government has our force. One of the major issues is that whenever a talk show is on, now you find out within, within Liberia, every radio station has a talk show that is being widely listened to by government officials all over the country. So when, when this development is not going on within certain part of Liberia, mm -hmm. people speak about it. Then when people speak, the government come about to do quick action. And when that action is taken, we realize that, oh, our voice is went here. How does it make you feel when people think of Liberia and the first thing that comes to mind is one of Africa's bloodiest wars? How does that make you feel? It makes me feel upset. But uh, thanks to the president, the first elected female president of Africa, Madame Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, who has promoted the image of Liberia to the outside world as something that Liberia is, is, is not a country that people always come to and refer to as country of war. Now we have peace and we must enjoy our peace. Well, it always makes you feel bad if somebody tells you that your country is a, 
a, a war to country it always make you feel bad because war is not a good thing and people around that see war will never want the war so it makes me feel bad but yet and still it makes me feel stronger it makes me feel that i can make it if i can make it to win the war i can make it so i don't want the other generations building on or uh, doing what we did so i'm trying to educate young women especially young women young young people around that war is not good and we should never go back to the things that cost us to have war you know the war displaced many Liberians. They spread all over the world. How do you feel about Liberians who are still away from the country and you are here actively trying to rebuild? How, what's your sentiment on that? Well, Liberians that are far away from Liberia, I will encourage you to be a part of your building process. But as for me, on this ground, I'm going to do everything in my willpower, everything in my reach to do what I am supposed to do to rebuild Liberia because there is nowhere where like home. You will go, you will go, you still have to come home. So I'm encouraging you, Liberians all around the world, it's your it's your civil right to rebuild Liberia. I'm encouraging you to come back and rebuild Liberia because Liberia depends on you, Liberia depends on me. So this is all I'm asking and I'm encouraging you to see this as an opportunity. Yeah, uh, we who are in Liberia cannot rebuild Liberia alone. We need your support. This is a collective effort. So when you come, we all can build Liberia and Liberia will be a better and happier nation. As a country force shows your errors, this is the time that we have to rebuild our country. So all those in the diaspora, you are to come back to help rebuild our country and be part of the rebuilding process. This is the only home that we have, and there is a saying that says, there is no place like a home. Liberia is our home, and no one else but Liberia ourselves can rebuild our own self home. So come home, and let's build our home. Where is Sally? Amazing scene.